Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. Today we're reviewing something pretty cool. This is the LensGo wireless mic system. Now this one will just have one transmitter, one receiver. You can get those with two transmitters and one receiver packs as well that come in kind of the same configuration. But this is model 348C. And you can see that this is white. This stands out. This is definitely almost a fashion statement. This is what you get in the box and this is the accessories this is the um, TRS uh, cable and TRRS so there's two cables one for your cell phone one for your camera there is a um, standalone magnet in here so you can just use the magnet we'll get into all that the charging cable and just your uh, 3.5 jack is in here I have a bunch of these so these packs of stuff like this end up going in a drawer a collection drawer so here is the showpiece here. Um, this is the LensGo 2.4 gigahertz wireless mic system. They even put the model number out here, 348C. So you'll always have the information here and probably on the back and stuff as well. But this looks like the, the charge, this is a charging case, carrying case, and everything all in one. And uh, which is really cool because it looks exactly like what the wireless little transmitters look like. So push this button open this up but first here's the charging port here to charge this you do get some lights on here while you're charging through here which these are linty but uh, if you do get um, a two transmitter system it will go here and it allows for the clips to go down in here it's recessed here's the little pins that pop down and lower when it's in place and uh, this is the transmitter this is the receiver and the very very cool part let's talk about the transmitter this my friends is extremely cool because the way this little fur ball here mounts on it clips on from the sides and it stays in place it's firm in place and here's a little felt gasket that goes around here that will seal kind of around the microphone array and in the the uh, the little jack here, the microphone jack for your live is here, okay? That is very cool. On the sides is even cooler. We get the uh, TF, which is micro SD card slot here. We get a charging uh, where you can individually charge if you want to here, charging port. And we spin around, we got a power button. We get the actual microphone, which is pretty doggone big and beefy com in comparison to the wireless go which i have here that's why i have this sitting out i'm using this in the live mode but the grill on this is like twice the size of the one built into the wireless go and while we're here let's just look at size comparisons it's a little thicker the same size as far as a square goes but thicker and i'm sure there's justification there because here is the record button it's an actual clicky button and then will blink whenever it's recording which is very cool because you can use this as a card and a transmitter together so you have actual good audio which is fantastic for these 2.4 gigahertz uh, mic systems here because if you get out the range on this is uh, almost 300 feet about 250 feet line of sight um, but whenever you get out there past 50 feet in between 50 and 100 feet and you turn and this loses line of sight uh, you will lose uh, your reception as well so having the micro SD card here in, in, in a wave file recording to which you can record and record to the transmitter so you got two copies you can keep a constant contact here so if you know you are going to venture out uh, past range and line of sight you can just slap a card in and go so this really is an awesome kit um, already and we just we ain't even got to the audio yet the clip this is a magnet right so you can get this in position and this thing snaps on look how quick boom i mean it's in there hard and then that this right here you can put this behind your shirt or something and it locks it in from moving see this uh recessed part that sticks out and this little washer looking thing well that can go behind your shirt and it just locks in it's not going to move or you can use the clip i suggest clipping it first and then doing this because if you don't the whole thing rocks when you try to use the clip so just clip this and then magnet that so pretty easy um this does stand out you know with this windscreen this is white um there's a lot of lettering through here 
Um, that's probably the downside that if you want this to show, it's going to be a fashion statement. But you don't even have to let it show. You can tuck it away in your pocket because you've got the live port right there, which is sweet. So let's get to the uh, receiver. So the receiver has a line out, has a power button, and it has plus minus because you can adjust things on here because there is a screen. And you have the same exact style magnet mount here. So you're pretty versatile on what you can do and use it with, uh, which is fantastic. And by comparison, uh, you're looking at, let me see here, the same size clip as the road. So you can stick this in your cold shoe and do the exact same thing, which this is cool because then you just pull this off your camera, you can leave this on there, and then you can do whatever, change your settings, and look at it, stick it back on. You don't have to worry with actually moving this out of the cold shoe, which can maybe move your camera, disrupt you in some way. But let's turn this on. We'll do a brief show here. So you actually get a nice screen here. And then there's your status light waiting to connect. So let's just pair this. Should pair right out of the box. Yep. And then so you get the battery status of one, two. Uh, you can have both battery set. Like it's, it's geared up for two, but uh, this one's only got one. Here you can see the feedback meter for the one transmitter on one side and if you had two of them connected you can see them both if you do want stereo mode you just hold plus minus on the side down together and it will switch over to stereo but i want mono so then it switches right back over to mono boom and also at a glance on here you do get the battery feedback you get your range uh graph right here that shows you how well your reception is to the uh transmitter and of course the battery readouts i said you get a live uh, feed of, of what your actual uh, if you're peaking or not here and you do get gain control and stuff like that so you do get everything that you need right here and so if someone's using the camera they can see this at a glance and there is no headset adapter on this unit here to mic monitor from here but if you have that built into your camera you can do that uh, from your camera so now we are listening to the Rode live mic now so I'm going to disconnect the live part and now we're going to go directly into the wireless go and so i'm going to talk a little bit give you a sense of the road wireless go and then we're going to transition right over to the lens go and just like that we're onto the lens go system so this is what the mic sounds like there there is a big difference in microphones you remember the lens go has a bigger mic on it so this could potentially sound better and when i was testing this out for range and stuff like that with my wife one of the things that she didn't like about it, which I could actually use this as a mic and talk about like this is a over exaggerated size of this. So how cool is that? So for display purposes and speaking, I'm gonna have this in my hand and talking about this. So good job. Anyway, uh, for looks, my wife was like, dude, that's not good looking or appealing. And it's really not to have on screen a professional environment. But if you're making a statement and stuff like that, uh, there's the only way that these guys are going to stand out to me, in a, in a crowded world, like it, this is overly crowded. The 2.4 gigahertz uh, wireless mic system since the Wireless Go came out is just like crowded. So you gotta do something to stand out. And these mics sound really good. The look of these are really good. I'm just uh, really impressed with the whole, whole setup. And I'm just gonna snap this in so we can see what the live will sound like as well. And now here we are on the live mic. So this may or may not sound better, I'll know in post, but um, it should sound just as good, if not better. Because looking at the graph readout, the volume kicked up and it looks good on the graph. Like it looks really clean and solid up, down on the graph. So I'm not seeing a lot of boom at the bottom of the graph, any kind of noise coming in. So that's a great thing. And now I'm just going to take this out and finish and slide this back out. And I do notice that it's not as hot as it was. So I'm going to have to play with the gain a little bit in post and in editing. I'm sure to get the sound just right on the mic. But, you know, for this system, for this price, the link is down in the YouTube description. Uh, from what I've played with it for the uh, over the past few weeks, just tinkering and messing around, 
I really like it. You get the TF card, you get the micro SD card recorder right on this. So if you know that something's going to be in question and you're not just right here doing this, pop a card in, it's not going to hurt, and push the record button here, and this will blink. See these two lights here, they stay on, but then you get this blinky light, so that may be when you want to introduce the lav to reduce on all this going on, because then you have three lights, you have this thing set up, and it's not really that expensive to get one of these at all. Uh, this is the white edition. They have black and yellow. I really do like it. I mean, anybody that's going to take a chance and design something this crazy that is just a fashion thing and, and know that they might hurt their sales a little bit, but who cares? You have to stand out in the crowd. The magnet, the magnet system is great. Uh, the only thing is if you're trying to, you know, do it like this, it's not going to hold its position. Like it's going to go poop like that which thankfully it's weighted in the bottom and the mic up top is the lighter end. So it's going to sit like this all the time. But if you need it to go like this, it might worm its way like that. So in future editions, uh, if you can have some kind of resistance in there for whenever you do turn this ever how which way on both the receiver and transmitter, it stays where you put it. That would be great. And, but as far as the fabric magnet inside, that doesn't really matter because I don't think you can create any resistance. It's just your fabric, right? So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that dawn so you get notified on the next audio product. A good one that I got coming out next because this one was good. I liked it. So go check it out. Link is down in the YouTube description. See ya.